A couple years ago, Scale Production came out with an Eleanor Trans kit for an AMT Ford Mustang. Now, if you know Eleanor, you probably know the movie Gone in 60 Seconds, and it might have something to do with your car obsession. I know in my case it did, so when I saw this kit reproduced once again, I absolutely have to have it as it's reproduced, and then goes out of stock, and then it's pretty much gone. So I got it while I still could, and kept onto it as long as I could without building it, and now after building some pretty cool builds, I figured why not do some American classics again and also a movie favorite of mine. So let's jump through the box of this kit and then in another video I will go on to the donor kit as well. One important thing before I'm going to start unboxing, this kit is currently not in production. I have not heard of any plans of it coming back into production. So if you can find one second hand, it will probably be even more pricey than it originally was and that is if you can find one at all. I'm not going to be selling mine, and again, I don't know of any ones being in production currently, nor from Skill Production or other companies. There was a small run from another company, but that has already sold out as well. The most important piece on this trans kit is of course the body as that is the piece that has changed the most. It has a newly redesigned front, also sides, wheels, and the over fenders of course, some of the intakes, even the, of the, the gas filler, and also a lot of other shapes around it. Now Skill Production did a really nice job capturing all of these and fitting it to a body, casting it pretty much perfectly in order to make this as easy to build as possible. All of the details on the sides are there, the over fenders are nicely captured, the new uh, headlights, the grills, and all the other stuff, including some of the engine bay parts, have also been done up again on this kit. Besides the main body in this kit, you also get some new wheels, tires, and some aluminum rings around those wheels as well, and a nice new big hood with a uh, good scoop on it too that simulates the actual one from the movie pretty well. It even has details on the inside, pretty much just captured from the one in the kit, I presume. For a good overview on all of the parts in the kit, you get a nice big sheet of paper. It has some of the reference material from one of the models built by a model master hired by Skill Production, and of course also all the parts that are in the kit, and a small instructional on where all these parts need to be fitted. There are a couple small bags of white metal parts. These are cast parts, nicely detailed, and also according to spec of the actual movie car, some of the engine components which need to be changed, some gauges for the interior, mirrors, door handles, even a distributor for the engine, and also a nice new steering wheel, and the gas cap for on the side as well. Alongside those metal parts, there are some more metal parts, but these are photo etch parts instead of cast parts for some of the additional details, uh, like on the grill, some of the calipers, some logos, some interior pieces, buckles, uh, even the hood latches, and some of these disc brakes as well. Nice details to add and a good feature to have in this kit. The final bag of parts is one with a couple of decals for on the side. You can add the stripes and of course the GT500, some other Shelby logos, and it has some seat belts and even some lights as well for in the light housings.